Okay, so now to look at two variable statistics. So that's in the sum menu, and then you need to create your two lists. So we've got two lists here of minutes and sales. And these are for different weeks. So we've collected data, and then we're going to try to use a linear model to predict how many minutes we need to of advertising we need in order to get $3,000 worth of sales. So first we need our lists. Now I've already gone ahead and entered in some uh, empty lists. So let's go ahead and pull our minutes menu. And item number one is two. Then we have one, and three, and five, and five, and four. So we have six items in our list. Now let's get the sales menu, our sales list. And again, 1400, 920, 1100, 2265, 2890, and 2200. So those are our six items for that list. Okay, and by the way, I just realized we had an, an error in our uh, sales, so I went back up to item number three, and we entered 1100 instead of 100. Okay, so now let's do a calculation. We're going to go to more, and then forecast. So select our x variable. That's going to be our x-axis, which is minutes. So we'll select the minutes list. Y variable is sales. So we select the sales list. And it's showing us we have a linear fit currently. Let's look at the correlation on that. Correlation is 0.9. Um, M will give me the slope of that linear line. So that's of the equation y equals mx plus b. So that's our, our slope. And then b is going to be our y-intercept. So that's 376.25. Now if I go to more, then I can change the model. I can change it to linear, logarithmic, exponential, and power. And uh, let me just pull this real quick. So this is from the manual. And I found this graph to be helpful. So you'll see here they've got a graph. So your linear, your b is going to be your y-intercept, and m is going to be your slope with an exponent. Um, your b is your factor here in front of your uh, exponential, and m is going to be your, your power factor. And then logarithmic, there's your b, and there's your m, and then power curve. That's going to be your b and m. So a helpful reference, if you're doing those other fits, what those b and m will mean in those different models. OK, so we can look at, at uh, size. That'll just tell us it's a list of six. We can look at the weighted mean and the uh, group standard deviation, but we don't need to do that right now. And then just various uh, statistics, so the sum of x, sum of y, sum of x squared, sum of y squared, uh, for useful for different um, statistics calculations. Let's go back to here. And what we wanted to do was figure out if we want $3,000 worth of sales using this linear fit prediction model, this forecast model, what is the number of minutes that we would need to advertise? So we would enter in 3,000 into sales, and then press the minutes in order to figure out how many minutes. So about six minutes is what we'd need to advertise. Let's say we wanted to do, oh, three minutes. So about what would we get from three minutes? It looks like it'd be somewhere around 1,200 or so. But So three minutes, enter that into our minutes, and then forecast what the sales is going to be, uh, 1,600. So anyway, very useful menu for being able to um, predict and make a, a model of what your uh, prediction is going to be. Now I've got one other example here. So this is uh, weighted statistics. So let's go back out uh, to our menu. And now we are going to get a couple of other lists that I've created the names for. So we have the number. So that's 54. These are apartment rents. So there were 54 apartments at $200 a month, 32 at 205 a month, 88 at 210 a month, and 92 at 216 a month. So we are going to weight these. So let's enter in 54 for our first item, 32 for our second, 88, and 92. All right, let's get our uh, dollar, the rent amount, and we'll go 200, 
205, 210, and 216. All right, so those are our four items in each list. Now calculate, more, forecast, select our x variable. Well, that's going to be our rent, and then our y variable is going to be our weight. So now, if we say we have, um, well, we want to look at the weighted mean. So what is the weighted mean of all of this? It's going to be 209.44. And it does look like it would be weighted more heavily toward the upper end than the lower end, just because we have more units there. And the group standard deviation is 5.97. So that's weighted statistics.